morning welcome back to bug uk uh right i'll show you the uh, process so far where i've got up to uh, i think amy's been showing you the bathroom uh the other day i got it all sealed uh got the soap dispensers up uh got all the around the back the toilet sealed up uh today i'm just going to wire the toilet or get the what the cable for the toilet wired in uh, i'll just show you in as you can see She's all sealed up. Just got to get a bit of trim for up here. Just got to go to the DIY shop and see what we've got in there. Get that stuck in. And today, just got that down there. Got the wire to connect up. Because I'm going to run the wire down here. Across. Through there. And here is where the seat's going to be the water tank's going to be here and we'll put the water fill up pipe through the wall outside so you can fill it up from outside the battery banks going to go down there at the moment it's over here i've got to move all the wiring and bring it over here and then you can build the bed settee here it'll pull out so it's just a case of getting the wiring running up to the this area here as you can see I've just made a start I've put a socket over there we will have overhead storage here where it's going to mount the microwave don't need too many 240 sockets but my idea is what I'm going to do is I have a consumer unit and a inverter the Two so I'm gonna, from the consumer unit, I want to run it into a two-way switch like you'd have in your house. And then I'm going to have a socket, 240 socket, end of the bed. And that one there. And I'm going to have them on a plug. So you just plug it in to the twin socket under the seat. And then when you're off grid, just unplug it and plug it into the inverter. I know you can buy changeover switches and... But for the sake of lifting the bed up just to unplug and plug, it's a lot simpler, a lot easier, a lot less to go wrong. And I just think it's more capable of doing that, no problems. So today, like I say, I'm going to get that wired up down there. And then we're going to start cladding, get all this cladded up. I need to run some cables in because I will be putting a fan in the uh, bathroom so I'm going to need two switches one for the light and one for the fan so I've got to sort that out uh, and like I say get all this cladded down here but uh, it's getting there it's coming on it's been four weekends work and the odd after work a couple of hours on a night after work but not many because the weather's just been rubbish. It's supposed to be raining today at dinner time, so I'm going to crack on and uh, I'll bring you back, okay? <laughs> So another weekend done, another busy weekend in between the rain, but we've managed to crack on really, really, really well this weekend. And we have managed, well, let me show you because I'm all excited. It's really starting to come together now. You can really see the layout happening. So it's all exciting. So let me show you, I'll spin you around. So as you can see, look, we've cladded all the side of the bathroom now. And we've cladded that side. So that's all been done now. And he's 
put the soap dispensers up and we've put the two other pots up so that's all been done we've got the wire ready for the flush for the toilet so that's all in place and then we'll figure out how to do the door bit and also figure out how to do the door here as well so that'll be the next job probably for next weekend now we've just placed the foam there just so we can see what it sort of looks like and we just need to get it covered so we've obviously then built or started building the bed so as you can see I'll hold the foam up because it's stiff so we've cladded so the water tank's going to sit in there and then obviously we'll have the batteries at this side and then there'll be like a dummy floor covering everything up and then we can put stuff on top so it's all protected but we just wanted to sit the foam in just so we could see what it sort of looked like and open the door slightly you can see that we've put a side on it I'll keep the rain out for now so yeah so we managed to crack on in between the rain so it's coming along so hopefully now we can get we're going to put a big board all on that wall um, so it will cover up obviously the carpet that we had before and then we can start building the wall units and obviously we need to finish off the bed because obviously we need to have the section to pull out to make it into a double bed so we've still got to finish the bed off yet so we've not done much else to the kitchen sit down gently so I don't fall through so yes we've not done anything else to the kitchen as of really since we last showed you a video we're hoping to get obviously the battery box moved at the end but because of the rain and whatnot we're just calling it a day now for the weekend so we can chill a bit before work tomorrow so we've cracked on well so hopefully maybe next weekend we'll get the battery box moved so we can move the batteries under the bed and just see if everything fits fine the water uh, tank does fit fine we've already tried it before we started building the bed so yeah so then hopefully we can get the rest of the bed finished as well and then obviously we can start painting and then obviously get the board on the wall and get the wall unit built so yeah so it's coming along so thank you for being with us so far and sorry about camera angles and bits like that we are new to this youtube and videoing game hopefully when the rain stops we can finally get the skylight in we'll end up coming to a stop sooner or later but we can crack on with all the bits in between so like i say thank you for being with us so far and if you do like it then please come back next week and see how we get on so please like share and subscribe and thank you for coming back to watch and we will see you next week thank you